okay guys i'm still updating you situation of things what is going on in nigeria good morning good afternoon and good evening all depends on your location at this time of the day so yesterday it was the northern elders forum asking the president president buhari to allow biafrans to go people were surprised like serious unlike the north that believe they own nigeria they must remain or nigeria should remain as one because of the benefit because that is the handwriting on the wall because of the benefit they are benefiting from the south everyone was surprised today the uh, bandit negotiator gumi also called on president Buhari to call on mazi namdi kanu the leader of ipob sit him down on a round table ask him what is the problem all right Buhari should negotiate with Mazi Namdi Kanu and other um, groups that want separation. Okay, people were surprised. And now, it is the women in the north. I don't know how to call them, but they are northern women. Also calling on the president to do the same. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say, because personally, I think something is wrong somewhere like serious something is wrong somewhere this is my own personal opinion i stand to be corrected because i really don't see especially the northern elders forum all right from past record we have been seeing the the way these men comport themselves the way these men preach about this one nigeria so what happened why the sudden change of mind something is wrong somewhere like seriously and today, Gumi, Gumi, a whole Gumi, bandit negotiator, also tell the president, ask Buhari to negotiate with Biafrans, IPOB, Mazin Namdi Kanu, and ask him what is the problem. And now they are women, is also doing the same. And you guys think something is wrong somewhere, or nothing is wrong somewhere. I believe something is wrong somewhere. Maybe they have perfected their plans of course that's what i'm thinking but let me know what you guys think the north has perfected their plan ready to let the south go their separate ways what do you guys think about this because now they said they are ready they are ready let uh, uh, buari uh, give these people a referendum allow them to go their different ways what possibly could be the reason let us discuss on the comment section below why um, this sudden change of mind from the north calling on President Buhari to allow other nations to go their way. Now listen to these um, northern ladies and let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. See you in another video. Predicament of northern people in the southern part of Nigeria. Jamia Martin Ariwa, our stand. Our beloved country, Nigeria, is today sadly at a precipice. The northern part of Nigeria has become the epicenter of perennial crisis of epic proportions from all fronts. The north, as we know it, is rich in culture and tradition and endowed with untapped human and natural resources that has the propensity to propel Nigeria as a superpower as envisaged by our founding fathers. Regrettably, for the past 12 years, the North has been under a relentless onslaught by Boko Haram insurgents and of recent incessant banditry, herders farmers clashes of unknown origin with its attendant impact on the social economic development of the country, of the region and the country at large. This is the situation the North has found itself in today's 21st century. To further compound matters, 
Northerners are now profiled, attacked, intimidated, killed, and often receive hostile reception in the southwest and the southeast geopolitical zones. We are all witnesses to the recent murder and orchestrated destruction of shops, properties belonging to Northerners at Shasha Market and Igongong community in Oyo State, and the incineration of a trailer load of cattle and foodstuff from the north in Anambra State. It is instructive to note that since the creation of the Nigerian state, the north has always welcomed and accommodated people from all parts of the country to live in peace and harmony and go about their businesses without let or hindrance. There also has been numerous intermarriages, religious connectivity and affiliations of both Christian and Muslim faiths in the spirit of peaceful coexistence in an effort to build a united prosperous nation. That is what our culture and tradition has taught us. We didn't choose to be in Nigeria, but God in his infinite wisdom has brought, to all, has brought us together. Ladies and gentlemen, the question to ask at this juncture is this. Why the blatant hatred for northerners? Is this the reward for being accommodating? Why can't the concerned southerners, if I may say so, reciprocate the gesture to live in peace with northerners in their midst? Or is there a conspiracy theory to deprive us of developing and send us into oblivion? Let me make it clear, we are not begging or running in cap in hand for handouts. History has recorded that the North has contributed to the development of this country even before the oil boom, of which recent discoveries in alternative sources of energy has become a priority rather than continued dependence on oil as a priced commodity as others would have wanted in the foreseeable future. Today, we affirm that enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough. Enough, is enough. enough is enough. Enough is enough. At home in the north, we are not spared. In some particular regions, geopolitical zones, we, where we feel we would be welcomed, we are targeted and not spared. This has to stop. We believe we are in a democracy with laid down procedures and processes to address national concerns or agitation of some sort. Today, the Jamia Matang Ariwa, the voice of the Northern woman, is calling on His Excellency, President Mohamed Buhari, and the leadership of the National Assembly to immediately consider the following options. One, reconvene a national conference as a follow-up to, to the one held in 2014. Two, the issues of the Nigerian state has been a subject of discourse for some time now. We feel the concerns can be channeled through the elected representatives of the National Assembly to be thoroughly debated as required under a democratic dispensation, or number three, better still, hold a referendum. Yeah. While commending the government for its untiring efforts to tackle the hydra-headed security challenges in the country today, we are convinced that the concerns being raised by certain sections of the country can be addressed in a civilized and peaceful manner than resorting to violence, killings, etc. To forestall a total breakdown of law and order which could lead to a precarious situation we all don't pray for, God forbid. The well-known tolerance and perseverance of the North should not be taken for granted. 